What's going on guys? So another week in the books, got some pretty good variety here with some stuff that's still pretty fresh for the most part, but also some heavier, spicier, darker fragrances overall. I do get a little bit of cool weather here and there. It's surprisingly warmer than typical for this time of year where I'm at, but uh, definitely reach for some variety for sure, as I usually do. Not a lot of repeats here from recent weeks, so we've got some different fragrances to discuss. So it's week number 148. Stay tuned. Starting off on Sunday, a personal favorite of mine that I have not worn in some time. Not since the winter. Spice Bomb Night Vision Eau de Parfum. Kind of a dark horse fragrance. Doesn't really get a lot of love. I love it. Mmm. So good. Takes the original Night Vision EDP. A little bit of, it'll remind you of Azara Wanted, the original. It'll remind you of hints of Invictus. Takes that, which is pretty much what Night Vision EDT was all about with a lot, of a, a lot of spice in the dry down. Here, it's much more creamy. It's much spicier in the, in the heart and dry down than the EDT was. It's a richer overall fragrance. There's pistachio, there's nutty notes, so there's this inherent creaminess to the fragrance. It's much deeper, much thicker scent profile overall. Performance is fan freaking tastic Very long lasting, very loud. Really good stuff. Absolutely sample worthy. If, you're, if you were a fan of EDT, you'll love this one. If you hated the Eau de Toilette, night vision you might still not like this one because it still smells like that but it's definitely an enhanced kind of definitive version of the scent profile it's a much better fragrance overall uh, i have wore this in high heat even though it's better for fall winter early spring i have wore it in texas heat uh, back when i worked at land rover and jaguar i remember specifically wearing this i was just in the mood for it and it was hot as hell outside it just works you can pretty much wear this anytime. Uh, ideally, we're moving into the better seasons for it. But if you haven't tried this one yet, like I said, kind of a dark horse in the line. The original, the extreme, and then now infrared get all the love. But the night vision fragrances, especially the EDP, some good stuff. And that's what I rocked during the day. Then when I got out of the shower, it was time for a good shave. I haven't used this in a very, very long time. Beverly Hills Polo Club Blaze. This is the aftershave splash. I don't even remember what shave soap I used. But this is the splash, and of course I gave myself some sprays of the fragrance after the fact. Speaking of Spice Bomb, basically a cheat clone of the original Spice Bomb. A lot of cinnamon, red hot spice. It still smells good. Look, you can get this stuff super cheap. Super cheap. Sub $15 range for the 50ml fragrance. And look, is it remarkable? No. But it is a great cheap clone. Cheap, too. Man, cheap. Of Spice Bomb. Doesn't last a really long time, but it's very loud for about 30, 30 minutes to close to an hour. It's pretty damn loud. You might get two to three hours out of it. That's all I really get. Believe it or not, this cheap aftershave splash smells really good. Skin feels really good after the fact. The first time I saw this, I jumped on it. Here we go. Six ninety nine at a TJ Maxx loose bottle. I didn't hesitate because I love Blaze. This is the if you're just gonna have one from this company. This is the one, in my opinion. So it was nice to go back to. I haven't worn it in some time. I have a smaller, like, travel size bottle of this as well. This, like I said, I have a few of their fragrances. Not many, like three. But this is the one. This is the one. If you're looking for a cheap way to smell like Spice Bomb, which is pretty much what I did out the shower. I had a good shave. Gave some sprays. Beverly Hills Polo Club Blaze. Moving into Monday, I wore this one all day. This was featured in my recent monthly gym rotation because uh, I did wear it to the gym this particular day. Wore it casually. I wore it out the shower. Performance is terrible, but it smells great. It's a David Beckham Classic. Another cheap $13 fragrance that smells great. It's got this tonic water smell, a little bit of a fresh spice. It's bright. It's got some mouth-watering citrus to it. This, I like how this one smells. I really do, but I only get like two hours out of it. So it's an ideal gym fragrance, for sure. It's an ideal out-the-shower refresher, for sure. Casually, though, got to take it with you. If you want more than two or three hours, 
You can bathe in this stuff too. You can spray this one very heavy. This is a much more subdued fragrance that still has a great scent profile with a little bit of nuance to it. It's not completely linear. It's not the same scent from start to finish. It does change a little bit, but it just doesn't last long. Could be some olfactory fatigue. I don't know. It might be lasting longer than I even realize, but so far my experience with it, definitely on the weaker side, just smells great. But if performance is super important to you, obviously this is a clear cut pass, but I have plenty of uses for this stuff. It smells really good. All day long, David Beckham Classic. Moving into Tuesday, this is one I talk about often that I just haven't been wearing enough. So it was nice to pull out Cool Water Parfum. Been a little while since I wore this. I actually started my day, I threw two sprays on, went to the gym, refreshed with another five sprays after I got back home. This is so good. And I had a lot of people ask me in the Senate Day Post, does this really smell a lot like Sauvage? There's some similarities, but like, let me give you the differences. Where there's bergamot and Sauvage, there's a sharp lemon here. Where there's more of a typical black pepper type of spice in Sauvage, there's pink pepper here, a little bit of a sweet spice. Um, there's no Ambroxan listed, though it does have a little bit of that shower jelly type of Ambroxan smell. This is not as fresh. This is more earthy and smoky. There's an earthy tone to this vetiver. Um, that's kind of the woody nature of this fragrance. It's a little bit more of a refined, dressier fragrance. So like I said, there are similarities, but there's just as many differences. Performance is great on this one. Let me spray it again. I love this. It's really good. If you can come across this at the rack stores for 25 bucks like I did, it's a steal at that price point. It's right around 40 bucks from discounters online. It's floating in the air. It's so good. It really is. This is the ultimate version of cool water for me. It does have a little bit of that cool water DNA. This is better than the Intense. This is better than Grapefruit and Sage. This is better than the original. I could just go on and on and on. Because I like a lot of these cool water flankers, but this is the best one, in my opinion, of course. Performance is very long-lasting. It's pretty loud without being too loud. And uh, it definitely dresses up just as easily as it dresses down during the day. Davidoff Cool Water Parfum. And we got the shower, one I have not worn quite some time. All-time great for my out-the-shower rotations. Nautica classic one i haven't spent time with in a while and i just fell in love with it all over again as usual look it's an underwhelming scent to a lot of people out there i get it but for me it's nostalgic even though it's not exactly the same fragrance as the old bottles which i do have a vintage bottle it is a little bit different but i like that kind of clean oceanic saltwater feel that this has i always have i've always been a fan of this the old bottles the new bottles i like this fragrance performance leaves a lot to be desired two to three hour fragrance but i pretty much strictly wear this one out the shower to lounge around the house there was a long stretch where this was the most featured fragrance in my weekly rotations and i haven't reached for anything nautica in a while so this week I ended up reaching for Nautica a bit more. For the gym, I reach for Nautica a lot more too, but out the shower, one of the all-time greats on this channel, Nautica Classic. Moving into Wednesday, literally every single time my wife caught a whiff of this, she told me how good I smelled. Club Dinui Intense Man, limited edition parfum, and I can't disagree with her. Very long-lasting, very loud in the first two hours. Not as loud as the EDP, but it's still pretty loud. It's good at grabbing attention. Much darker overall. Still has that kind of sharp and tart lemon, but it's not as chemically synthetic and harsh as the Eau de Toilette. This is great. I love this. Every time I wear it, I love it more. Every time I spray it and smell it, I love it more. Every time I talk about it, I love it more. And so on and so on. It's good. It costs double from discounters what the Eau de Toilette costs, and it's worth every penny. I paid right around 60 bucks for this. Absolutely worth it. Performs great, smells great, works for everything, wife loves the way it smells. It, it checks all the boxes for me. I don't know how easy it would be to get a sample of this, but the only reason I even want to get the Pure Parfum is so I can compare it and talk to you guys about it, but I mean, I'm, I'm completely satisfied with this. I don't necessarily need to try the original Eau de Parfum or the Pure Parfum because I like this one so much, but for reviewing sake for my audience... I'll eventually get those, but for now, I'm really enjoying this. The love affair still continues with Club Dinner Weed Intense Man Limited Edition Parfum. Then I got the shower, one I haven't reached for in a little while. Still some good stuff.
good cheapy. David Beckham Instinct. Went with another David Beckham fragrance. This is a good smelling fragrance. It's nothing special. A little bit of little bit of some fresh spice. There's a freshness to it. Um, there's a nice woody nature to this one. This one's got a nice woody backbone. It's it's nice. It smells really good. It's just nothing special. Performance is okay. Like around four hours. Uh, this isn't some powerhouse or anything like that. But this was the first, one of the first two, this and David Beckham Ohm, I got in a two-pack, that made me really kind of open my eyes to, you know what? This is some pretty decent cheapies. I need to explore this house more. Fast forward, I have seven or eight David Beckham fragrances now, and it wasn't that long ago that I got this. I just haven't reached for it because I've been wearing the other ones. I have the sport flanker of this. That one I really, really like. That might be my favorite David Beckham fragrance, but it's good stuff. It's nothing special. It's nothing I encourage anybody to go out and get their hands on. But if you have this one, you know where I'm coming from. You could do a lot worse with like $13 or less because these things are super cheap. Out the shower, David Beckham Instinct. Moving into Thursday, my personal favorite from this house, City Rhythm Fragrances. This is $26.54. So what do I love about 2654? Well, you can see right here on the label. It shows Miami with a plane going to San Diego because it's a hybrid combination of Miami Tropical Seduction and San Diego Pacific Sunset, which are my two favorites from the house. Put them together. You have a fantastic, dense, year-round tropical fragrance because all the tropical aspects of Miami, and there's even a lot of tropical beach vibe aspects to San Diego, they have a, a beech wood accord. There's some this salty sea breeze, sea salt note that's in there. This stuff's so good. Performance is fantastic. The scent is amazing. It's got all the citruses, some of the coconut and the rum from Miami Tropical Seduction with that beech wood note and some osmanthus. There's a lot going on here. A little bit of an ambery feel in the dry down. This is beautiful. This is my favorite from the house. And it just so happens to be a hybrid of prior to this, which was my two favorites from the house. And they put them together, so this is this is where it's at. Definitely get a sample and try this one. If you like tropical scents and you want power, you want real performance, 50% oil concentration, this is a powerful, amazing smelling tropical hybrid. Really good stuff, I'm telling you. Try this one out, get a sample. A lot of people like Manhattan. A lot of people like the new Tempo, which I enjoy both of those, but for me, if I gotta pick one, it's twenty six fifty four. Then we got the shower. Uh, I've been wearing this one to the gym a little bit recently. This was in my monthly gym rotation as well. And I wore it out the shower this night. The Jaguar Pace Accelerate, the flanker. So I had questions with this one on that video about people comparing it to Ancre Noir Sport. There's definitely some similarities. It doesn't have as much of a watery feel. Like it doesn't have the watery notes that Ancre Noir Sport has. And this has more spices for sure. Less about the vetiver. Definitely a lot more about the spices. I like this. I definitely like this. I would say similarities like maybe 60% between the two. So if you have that, don't think complete redundancy here. And you can get this for about the same price. Actually, a few dollars less than Encre Noir Sport. You can get this in the low 20s. I know you can get testers of Encre Noir Sport somewhere in the 20s. But typically around 30 bucks is what you're going to pay for that. Um, this is good stuff. This good I like this more than the original Jaguar Pace, and that one's no slouch. That's a decent fragrance, too. This is good stuff casually. It's got enough going that I think it works in the, in the fall, um, but not so much that it's not perfect to wear in the spring and summer either. So I think it's kind of three-season spring, summer, fall. Performance is actually decent, kind of five, six-hour range. Projection's pretty heavy for about an hour and a half, surprisingly. It's a decent fragrance. It really is. I've been enjoying it. Out the shower. Jaguar Pace Accelerate. Moving into Friday, it was a very green day. Not just the stuff I'm wearing, but the fragrances, starting with Parfums de Marley Greenly. Beautiful apple dominant fragrance. There's some woody facets. There's a little touch of floral in there, if I remember correctly, but it's all about that apple in the top. Very fruity, fruity, fresh opening. Beautiful. <sighs> crisp. It's got this crisp, fresh cut green apple smell, like slicing into a green apple. Wife really enjoys this one, too. Performance, I wouldn't call it a beast, but I definitely call it very good. It's a very good performer. Very long-lasting without being absurdly long-lasting. And pronounced, not overwhelming, room-filling beast. 
performance is where I like it for a slightly stronger fragrance because it's slightly stronger for me. Um, this is good stuff. This is very mass appealing from them. Uh, some people love it. Some people don't care for it. They would rather buy a cheaper fragrance with a similar scent profile instead of spending all the money on this one. But I got to say, it's at least worth trying. It's at least worth, worth getting your nose on, sampling. See if it's for you because this is definitely one of the better offerings if you like the safer fragrances and you just want something that's not a basic designer. This is a step above a designer, for sure. I wouldn't call this luxury niche, even though they are technically a niche brand, but I would say this is definitely a little bit of a cut above your typical designers that you're going to find at these department stores. So don't knock it until you try it. This is some good stuff during the day. Parfums de Marley Greenly. Then we got the shower. Speaking of green, Ferrari Radiant Bergamot. This has kind of been this year's Nautica Classic. Since I got it, I've been wearing this one quite often and it has no prime. Got to prime it again. Has an air leak, but very zesty, green, bergamot, pettigrain type of smell. Um, not quite sour, but sharp, a little bitter. This is good stuff. It doesn't smell as cheap as you would think because some of the other ones in the line do have a cheap fragrance smell to it, uh, like cheap oils. This one actually smells of decent quality. I actually prefer this over Ferragamo's Aqua Essenziale Colonia, which I do love that fragrance. But this narrowly beats it out. I reach for this one a lot more. They're very similar. Not exactly the same fragrance, but they're very similar to one another. And I have two bottles of this now, so needless to say, I spray it pretty liberally, and I spray it pretty often, which is easy to do. It's a damn good scent. Out the shower, Ferrari Radiant Bergamot. Finally, on Saturday, it's what's currently on my skin because I have yet to take my shower. I will be taking a shower shortly. This is the new upcoming release from Happy Land Studio called Inlandish. I am so impressed by this fragrance. If you want to hear my thoughts, check out the video that I just dropped earlier today or the day this goes live, yesterday. Check this video out. If you like these loud, brash, smoke-dominant fragrances, you will like this. This is veering off EJ's typical path. This is not for everyone. This is a special fragrance. I gave it a 9 out of 10 first impressions rating. I'm blown away by how good this one is. As for those of you that did see that video and want an update because I've been wearing it for hours now, it, the creaminess of the sandalwood and the patchouli does take over the fragrance in the dry down. It's still on my hand, and I have it around my neck. A lot more patchouli once it dries. Uh, the smokiness does calm down. It takes a while, but the smokiness does calm down. It's beautiful. It's still there. It's got that scorched earth undertone. Because it's a very ashy, smoky tobacco and birch. And it's just so good and so strong. Absolutely sample worthy. If you want to try something different during the day. Inlandish, the newest re upcoming release from Happy Land Studio. And then, I haven't, like I said, I haven't showered yet. But I haven't wore this one in a while. And I love this fragrance. This is like my favorite pickup of the year. One of, for sure. So... I'm going to spray this when I got out the shower. Masoni Wave. You know, people that have been watching me quite often this year, you've seen me talk about this a time or two, we'll say. Big fan of this fragrance. Big, big fan. Basically, poor man's Chanel Alorum Sport. You can get this one much, much cheaper. Um, I paid 32 bucks from TJ Maxx for this. You can find it. 30 some odd 40 some odd dollar range definitely worth it above average performer for me personally not weak not a beast it's neither of those it's not either one of those sides of the spectrum it falls a little bit past the halfway mark of average um, kind of six to seven hour range in longevity projections pretty good not really strong but definitely not weak it's noticeable in the first hour and a half two hours pretty good projector compliment getter i mean it's very when i say compliment getter i mean it's a very attractive dna because any fragrance can get you a compliment people like different aromas it's just what it is taste is taste um but this has a very attractive mass appeal to it that's why i say very apt to draw in compliments you know it's not every time i wear it but this is some good stuff and i haven't wore it in a little while it's time to draw a few sprays out of this bottle. So after I film this video, I will be taking this evening shower. And when I get out, I'll be spraying on Masoni Wave. Well, that was this week's rotation. And until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe. 
So I do appreciate all the feedback, and I love hearing from you guys. What'd you guys wear this week? I'd love to know what you guys were rocking. Um, what's the weather been like? Have you transitioned into fall yet where you're at? I'd love to read those comments down below. And I already know this is going to happen, so some of you are not going to care about this last little part. But some people are going to ask. So yes, this is. I've been buying a lot of really dope Florida Marlins hats recently. This is a new fall collection from New Era directly. Came with the pin on it and everything. Go around the side. It's World Series 97 patch. But here's the big kicker about it. It's got the leaves on the inside. Like I said... There's a lot of you that won't give a shit. I get it. But there are people that are into the hats that watch me. And somebody's going to ask. I've been getting a lot of questions about these Marlin. Mar I, look, I have several that I've recently bought you haven't even seen yet. I collect hats. I collected hats long before I collected fragrances, guys. So uh, I appreciate all of you that watched. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of the fragrances I wore this week. And you give them a spray now. Pretty confident you'll thank me later because it was a damn good smelling week. Have a good one, guys.